Check it out. So good, right? My favorite thing. <laughs> These are Toucan plugins for Reaper. They are free, they're super low on your CPU, and they sound amazing. Let me show you some of my favorites. Oh, and you can check the description to know how to install them. This one is an equalizer with five bands, and each of them can be turned into dynamic. I'm happy with this one because it's honestly so difficult to find a free dynamic EQ out there. And this thing is perfect for when you need to turn down frequencies that happen every now and then, but you don't exactly want it always turned down. A good example is a distorted bass. You can hear some of the notes can get super harsh while others sound okay. So a good way to solve this is finding the frequency and turning it down only when it gets loud. This ensures that all the other notes that are not as loud still have their presence in the midst. To do this with this plugin is actually pretty simple. So I usually like to boost and find the super annoying frequencies which are usually here in the bass that gets really loud and annoying. So right there. Now, once I got that, I'm gonna turn the game back to zero. And then I'm gonna press this dynamic button to turn this into a dynamic EQ. So with the threshold, I'm gonna play and put this just under where it gets really loud. And then with the range, I can select how much I want it to reduce. And you can see this thing moving here. That's how much it's being reduced. So the lower you go, the further down it's gonna be. And the further you go with the threshold, the more exaggerated it's gonna be. You can also adjust the attack and the release, and even solo the band, which is really helpful. So I ended up finding three frequencies that ended up sounding way too harsh in the midst, and I turned them down but dynamically, and here's the difference. Here's how it sounded in the mids. Just very distracting. And now with this. Just very nice. It's just still there in the mids. You can hear it, but it's not too invasive. And there's a lot of more use cases for dynamic EQ. I'm just gonna leave it around here. Next, we have Tape Recorder, which is a tape emulation with two speeds, a drive knob that adds a little saturation, and a tape knob where the older it gets, the more wow and flutter you'll get. This one is perfect for when you need to sort of round up an instrument, if that makes sense. Like if you have something that sounds too digital or clicky, a tape recorder might make it a little more pleasant to the ear. I recently used it on a kick drum and I very much love what it did to it. Let me show you. So here's a kick drum without any processing. I'm just gonna remove all of this. And here's after. And in the midst. Before, after. So a quick rundown, I got some EQ to really shape the sound and it's pretty extreme and it's a massive difference. Next we have Recom to make it tighter. Next I have this plugin called Fire, which is a multiband distortion plugin, which is free and it's so, so good. It's like basically a free version of Saturn. So this is basically adding a lot of like impact to that top end, making it sound really aggressive. The thing is, I enjoy the sound, but it's very harsh and that's where Tape Recorder comes into play. So before Tape Recorder, it sounded like this. And after tape recorder, yeah, that's the sound I'm looking for. So basically in here we got these two speeds, and this one you get more high end, and in this one it's more bassy and low mids. I like it aggressive so I'm gonna leave it at that. For the drive it's all the way up, again this is very very subtle. And for the tape, I really like this. Um, so. From new, it sounds like this. And the more you turn it up, 
you get this really nice warm feel to it. I like it a lot. And the denoiser all the way up because why would I want that? I don't need that in my kick drum. Pretty cool. Lexicon is an emulation of the iconic Lexicon reverb and you can actually make three of these plugins. Lexicon 1, Lexicon 2 and Red Lexicon. But the one I want to showcase today is Lexicon 2 because I think that plate sound sounds so good. And once again by the way it's just mind blowing having all of these for free. So in Lexicon 2 you get all these reverbs and all of them have different options to really customize it. And all of these sound great but I'm a huge fan of the plate reverb, especially on the room mic for the drums. I think that it works so well to get this very metallic sounding and bright down on the drums that makes it really cut through the mids. Here's how the drums sounded before this. And now with this thing. It's super nice, especially on the snare. Before. This makes the snare sound way bigger, and I very much like that. Hey, if you're enjoying this video and you want to support, you can buy me a coffee at reapertips.com. Also, feel free to explore the page. I put a lot of heart and effort into everything you see in there. Enjoy the rest of the video! This plugin is interesting, it's honestly my first time seeing something like this. It's meant to remove the nasal frequency from vocals, so basically you choose the frequency and then select how much nose you want removed. Blackbird singing in the dead of night 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 while this will be super useful for vocals and voiceovers, I find that it works really well on rhythm guitars. Alright, so here's some guitars. Now, with this plugin in its fans, we can use it to remove the annoying frequencies. Let's start by finding the first notes. So I'm gonna solo the guitars and solo the band right here. And I'm gonna find the annoying frequencies so right about there it's where it gets harsh so now we can try to see how these bottoms sound in the mids so before with a bit more and heavy Now, I feel like these two are doing too much, like they're taking the life away of the guitar. However, a bit, it sounds really nice, check this out. So before, after, it's cleaning up this area just a touch and I find that, that it works really well in this mix. This one is pretty much like a transient designer but way more flexible than that. I use this all over my drum to sort of quickly dial the impact that I want for each hit. So you got your usual attack and release knobs, but what makes this plugin cool is this time knob right here. So let's say you have a snare that sounds like this, and you wanna increase the attack all the way up. So that sounds nice, but maybe you wanted the attack to last longer like this. That's really nice. Or maybe you want the tag to be really snappy, but still be really exaggerated. So from one millisecond to 60 milliseconds. That's a big difference in the attack. And now this graphic right here makes it really, really simple to adjust the sound however you want it. So maybe you want it really snappy like this, but with a long release, the longest release you can have or maybe a short release. I really like this envelope. It's very intuitive to use. Delay Machine 2 is a plugin that I'm going to be honest, 
Took me a real while to figure out how to actually use it, but once it clicks, it's just a lot of fun. You can get really interesting delay patterns with this thing. You pretty much have total control of the timing and tonality of the left channel and the right channel. And my favorite thing is that this graphic right here makes it really simple to understand what's going on. If it wasn't for this, I'll be totally lost to what's going on. But with this, you can see that it bounces here and there and that many times and it gets quieter and quieter and quieter. So here's how I'm using Delay Machine, but I figure I'll just run you through all this processing I did in here. Um, all this chain is two and plugins, by the way. So I started with Guitar Station, which is an amp. Yeah, Tukin has amps as well. And they sound great. And for this clean break that I got right here, the sound is great. I, I love it a lot. It's very crispy and very nice for a break. Since this guitar is pretty much taking the spotlight in this whole section, I figured I could go crazy with it. So I started with the delay machine and I thought it would be cool to have some sort of really interesting stereo pattern delay. Here's how it sounded before. And here's with the delay. I love this effect. So it's pretty much going left, right, left, left, right, left. And just in between some of these, it's doing one of them. So one is going... <laughs> so the way to achieve this is that I got pretty much the same thing going on up both sides. Then I enable this thing right here, high TG, and that makes you able to move around one of the channels like this. So I could make it so in between these would sound one of them. And you can increase the feedback and make one of them longer or shorter. You can also add some saturation. I added some saturation on the right channel and a little bit on the left channel. So yeah, this plugin is really, really fun. You can get really, really cool stuff with this. Then I added a reverb. This time I'm using Let's Gun 2. And the big reverb sounded best in here. So before, after. Yeah, that's nice. This is how this reverb sounds like. Very nice. Now, I'm a huge fan of contrast and the net section, the drums come in. And I was thinking we could do something cool with that. So in here, I added Blacklight Modulation, which is a modulation plugin that is so, so fun to use. And I automated it so it turns on right at this section. Check it out. And I love this so, so much. I really enjoy this plugin. So with this plugin, you have a lot of options to modulate your signal. So you got all these shapes, you got a sign, a flip, a ramp up, and all of this. For this, I'm using a ramp down, which is basically just going from top to bottom. And the tempo, I'm choosing 1-8, which is, yeah, the same note length that the rhythm is going. But if you want to fine tune it, you can adjust this and it becomes hers. And you can do whatever speed you want, even crazy speeds. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. So let's say we want one four tempo and maybe a sign, and maybe we want to have a pan effect going left and right. And maybe one four is too much, maybe half. So now this is going, which is really, really cool. Or maybe one bar. Even slower, or you could do a filter. That also sound like a sim. Or... Very cool. There's also a phaser and a flanger. If you have ever used a flanger in the midst, let me know how. 
There's also a chorus. Wait, I'm going too hard with this, so let's make it actually nice. Oh, that's really, really nice. But my favorite for this one is this staccato kind of feel. With the drums. Maybe with the pan. So good, right? My favorite thing. <laughs> Okay, that's it for now. I really enjoy making this kind of video, so thank you for your support. I still have some other favorites, so let me know if you want a part 2. Also, consider supporting Tukan on Patreon. John has been putting a lot of effort into these free plugins for the community. That's it, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.